Well, for 12 rounds. They call Barrera the babyface assassin. And I think he has the uh, advantage and power over Toledo. And Barrera opens with a lead right hand to the head. And another combination between a left-hander and a right-hander. Barrera coming off a sensational 12-round knockout over former WBA Bantamweight champion Fast Eddie Cook. That happened uh, last December at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. How popular is Barrera? Barrera is an up-and-coming star. He might be the guy that uh, really takes after the, uh, the public. In the last fight, he fought in uh, Anaheim, where he won the WBO title over uh, Jimenez from Puerto Rico. And uh, Julio Cesar Chavez was there, and so was Miguel Angel Gonzalez watching him fight. So he is becoming quite rapidly a very popular fighter. Frankie Toledo in the uh, blue trunks, the left-hander from Patterson, New Jersey, has his hands full tonight. And you hear the chant of Frankie, Frankie. Obviously, loads of friends and family have come up from New Jersey to watch this fight here in Connecticut tonight. Barrera is a fighter that will take his time initially. First of all, he starts looking for openings, and after he finds him, he goes to work. He has uh, the, uh, the word Tapia in back of his words, in back of his trunks. I don't know what that, that, that means. Normally, he has uh, advertising space back there. The champion in black stalking Frankie Toledo here in the first round. And he connects with a right and a left and then a left to the body. And Toledo holds on. And just like uh, Zaragoza, Barrera left his uh, career as a lawyer to keep to, uh, to go into boxing. And he even when he won the title, his first statement was that he didn't know he was going to quit. He thought it over. He said, well, no, I guess I will go into boxing. Herrera has connected well here in the opening round. Toledo not showing much offense. A left to the head by Herrera. Mexican fans like, which is, uh, you know, go forward, great punches, and uh, not only that, but win. <laughs> the top of the stats has been a very even match. 37% of the punches connected by Toledo, 36% by Barrera. Round two, scheduled for 12. You heard Diego Rosario in the corner of Frankie Toledo. I remember when Diego Rosario was a fighter. That's, I had him when he was in his, uh, in his boxing career. That's right, in the ice world in Toledo, in New Jersey. And now he's a trainer. I guess we're all getting older. <laughs> Barrera's father was his basic trainer at the beginning of his career. He was also a fighter, but just an amateur fighter. Barrera is uh, one of two sons that are uh, fighters. His uh, brother fought in the uh, undercard and knocked out a fellow boxer. Barrera with a left hook to the head, and that wobbled Toledo. Toledo with a right hook, but Barrera continues to apply pressure. Not only is Barrera a good uh, headhunter, but he's also a, a tremendous going to the body. Barrera with a right hand that drove Toledo back. And Toledo is hurt, and down he goes from a body shot. A uh, left to the to the right side. Throw it uh, right to the liver, a hook to the liver, and he felt it. He, he, he was going down when he was hit again in exactly the same place. Barrera now applying the pressure, and down goes Toledo, another body shot. Got him again. As soon as he lifted his hands a little bit, went under the ribcage, hit him and delivered, and down he went. This is a three, three knockdowns, and he would be out. Oh, no, no three knockdowns. Work. And Barrera is hammering Toledo in Toledo's corner. Remember, the three knockdown rule is in effect. So if Toledo goes down in this round, the fight is over. And right hand to the head. And Fernandez, the referee,
stop the fight. Barrera wins by TKO. Barrera. Toledo, you see, backing up. Barrera with a right to the abdomen. And then, watch this. Toledo still backing up. He was hurt by that, that right hand. Barrera calmly moves in. And that left hand to the liver. Here's the that first hit. knockdown in that second round. Toledo on the take, takes another left hand to the right side. Another angle of the same blow by the champion, Barrara. Coming up. There it is, right there. What a left hand. Remains undefeated. Here's the end of the fight again as the referee has seen enough and stops it.